Thanks for watching TV3. My name is Dave Howie, and we're here in the studios at Lakes 99.5 today to have a conversation with this young man, Jeff Fritz. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks, David. Jeff's talking with us about the Knights of Columbus that is a part of St. Henry's Area Church. And uh, with that, Jeff, let's uh, learn a little bit about some of the activities that uh, the KFC does. Sure, sure. David, first of all, we, um, we are big um, with the Special Olympics and the okay. Knights of Columbus. We do the Tootsie Roll. Okay, drive right. every year so we um, split a lot of money with the perm local group here in Special Olympics okay. um, and then a lot goes to the um, state of Special Olympics also Fabulous. so we do a lot with the local Special Olympics and stuff like that and um, we also do the bike marathon every okay. every I believe it's every spring I believe so we, um, between St. Henry's and St. Paul's, we, we do that, we're in charge of that, and then we um, do that, and um, we your, do... Your group does quite a bit of volunteering around yes, the area, too. Yes, we do um, ditch cleanup okay. in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, Where's your stretch? You remember? We are combined of four parishes. It's okay. just not St. Henry's, it's St. Henry's, Butler, okay. and um, Dent. And St. Lawrence out here at Rush Lake. And then as far as your highway cleanup, what area are you keeping track of? You know, I think we concentrate on... Um, I and that, that's okay. It was just kind of out of the blue here. Yeah. Jeff needs to do more highway cleanup. Yeah. So yep. You know where that road is. That's, exactly. That's, that's about. Okay. I do know it's out by the um, softball diamond. Okay. There, so. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> um, well, Jeff, uh, you've got an event coming up that yep. we wanted to talk about today. Going to be serving some food, having some fun. Yes, yes. We Tell are um, doing a taco in a bag fundraiser on se Saturday, September 17th. Okay. At, from 5 to 7.30 p.m. at um, St. Henry's Church Basement. Okay, and that is handicapped accessible. They've got all the new yes. development over there. It looks beautiful. It, it looks great. It came out great. Yeah. Um, because with the process, why we're doing this, mm -hmm. um, St. Henry's School has to do some rebuilding and stuff like that. And um, we've decided the, all the proceeds are gonna go to the school. Mm -hmm. And it's free will offering, so feel free to come and bring your checkbook, bring your appetite, and we'll feed you good. All right, so that's gonna be Saturday the 17th from when to when? From 5 to 7 p.m. 5 to 7 p.m. in the basement there at St. Henry's. Um, and again, um, it's just a great way to help out. Uh, the school doing great things. Yep. Um, they're going to be making some building changes. This is just uh, one of the ways that, that the yep. Knights of Columbus are contributing. Yep, and this will be their, I believe, their actual first real fundraiser. Okay, kick Te off the building. Yeah, teaming up with the Knights of Columbus. So. Okay, well, glad to help make some noise for it. Anything else you want to share in regard to either St. Henry or, or uh, Knights of Columbus? Um... We're always looking for new members okay. at Knights of Columbus. Um, you can contact Mark Strage. He's our Grand Knight. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure of his phone number right offhand. Sure. But if you want, you can get a hold of me, 218-298-0699, and I'll get you in contact with him. Or you can call the St. Henry's Church office, 346-4240. Jeff, I really appreciate you being on today. Thank you, David. Jeff Fritz with the Knights of Columbus at St. Henry's Church in Purim. And by the way, he was giving out phone numbers and contact information. I'd like to do the same. If you have an idea for a future show, we'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get your feedback. Maybe you'd like to join me in a conversation here on TV3 with the Purim show. I could be reached at the studio at 346-4800. You can also shoot me an email, dhowie at laydenbroadcasting.com. Thanks for watching the Purim show today on TV3. Thanks for watching TV3. I'm Dave Howley, and we stopped by the Perm Chamber of Commerce to have a conversation with Dan Schrader. And uh, Dan, thanks for being on. I'm always happy to be with you guys. It's been a great summer. We had a lot of fun down here, especially on Wednesdays. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was a super summer. We had a lot of heat. Uh, we had the moisture to help us. The crops are good. And turtle races, again, went fabulous. Thank you to you, Dave, for your emceeing those and all that infinite fun. wisdom for all those visitors. 
Sure. So you know how that is. <laughs> and uh, so the Dave MCs are our turtle races. Another very successful year. Thank you to all of our volunteers. Without those volunteers, that could not happen. You know, and the numbers are interesting because in, in from all over uh, the planet, actually, China and beyond, uh, we had a lot of great visitors and, and just fun to see all the people, the families enjoying themselves here in the summer months around Perm in the Lakes area. Uh, I think our top day was over 400 racers. Yeah, I think it was 455 this year. You know, yeah. in the past we've had up over 550. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it's a wonderful thing. And what I like to see is the generations coming back. I'm in my 10th summer now, and I see all the people that come back. I also see former students, those types of things. Do you want to talk about the, uh, real quick, the Norwegian exchange student that came back? Uh, yeah, what I, what I got out of it, and some of uh, Rachel or Sandy might know more about it, but the uh, she was here 20 years ago, I believe, or 23. She was a foreign exchange student. Now she brought her kids back to experience turtle race is here in Perm, so fantastic. another it's story yeah another story was this was last year though uh, there was a gal from Gilbert Arizona here mm -hmm. she wore a 1984 turtle race champion t-shirt she gave it to her son to wear she came up to turtle races mm -hmm. so that's what happens with turtle races and as you can see there's the t-shirts on the quilt that's so right. thanks to Rose Gook for that never underestimate the power of our turtle races in Perm. <laughs> that's we true have a lot of fun and we'll see you again next year yeah um, some things on the horizon what's happening in around town? Um, summer's getting closing out a little bit here, but there's still a lot of things happening this fall, and of course we get into winter. Please check our calendar out at perm.com. You're going to get all that. Things change as we go. Uh, Harvest Fest is coming September 24th, uh, and there'll be more on the TV3 with that coming up, so we'll just touch on that for information. Contact the PEC chairperson, Steve yeah. Richter. Perm Events yep. Committee. Yep. At 5575 if you have anything more with that. During that weekend, a lot of things are happening the weekend of the 24th, 25th. Uh, Disgruntled Brewery is going to have a day's beer run, and that should fit right in with two this great community. events. Two of my two, favorites. You bet. Well, one of them. Yeah, and the uh, proceeds will help fund the purchase of a Lucas machine for the P Perm EMS, and I know you know what that is. Well, B, we had to look it up, but the Lucas machine helps do a steady compressions. Uh, if somebody has a sudden heart attack, you immediately want to get CPR going. This is an automated way. Maybe you don't have the strength to do regular compressions. This is a way to, to get that life-sustaining uh, oxygen into and throughout their brain and through their system. Uh, by using a, this Lucas machine. So that's what the event is about. It's a fun way to get there. Darn right. So if you have any, uh, uh, want some fun with that on the uh, 24th of September from 4 to 6, call the Disgruntled Brewery, 346 Hops. Four six seven seven. It's even better to go over there. I'll tell you that, isn't it? It's better to go over there. Yeah, than that's right. I call. love the patio and what's going so, on. Out head there, on yeah. over to Disgruntled. Also on that Sunday, of course, uh, there's going to be a Belgian waffle fundraiser put on by Someplace Safe. All proceeds to go to that. It's going to be at St. Henry's. So check that out from eight thirty to ten in the morning. Also, of course, you can, Someplace Safe. Real quick, just yep. mention there just. Uh, fabulous organization throughout Ottertail County providing emergency services for women and families in crisis. So thanks for your support of uh, Someplace Safe. Yep, good, Bel good Belgian waffles, as I can say that, at St. Henry's that morning. Then that uh, evening, uh, join the Perm Health Foundation for Blues at Brew. It's going to be on Sunday the 25th from 5 to 8. It's over at the uh, Brew right on Main Street in town here. And for information on that, contact 347-1308. Uh, you can also get tickets for that pre in advance from the hospital. So that's all at the brew. And then as we look down uh, a little further down the road, uh, the paint, sip, and create, the creative spirits will be at the Perm Center for the Arts on October 8th. You know, Dan, don't you find that the more you sit, the more creative you get? I do. Yeah. I know most people do. Yeah, and I agree. That's. I, I think that's one of the things that makes these events popular. And, and the artwork is like unbelievable. It. Yes. Yes, it is. When they're done, the artwork is unbelievable. Give the Art Center a call, 346-2787 uh, for more information on that. I've, I've seen a lot of the social media posts after these events, and it's it's great. And each one is personalized, uh, you know, so yep. it's fantastic. And they experience. fill those up. It's a great, uh, great uh, camaraderie of the people getting together and having some fun doing some artwork. You bet. And then way out on October 21st, let's start planning ahead, everyone. Turkey Bingo Fundraiser for the Perm EMS and the Perm Fire Department at the Cactus. And, of course, that's always a big event with lots of prizes. I know the community all pitches in for that for our EMS and our fire department. So that's all on October 21st. And I know you have some stuff on the... Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I was talking with Brenda Thompson for uh, Angel of Hope, and they'll have their annual vigil December 7th. But you, this is really short notice, but if you contact them right away, 
Uh, they do have uh, the fall deadline coming up for the fall memory block. So um, hate to see anyone in the situation where they've lost a child, but this is a tremendous um, uh, program and a tremendous location here in Purim, and we thank you for your support. But if you'd like a memory block to be put in place uh, to remember those that you've lost, uh, get in touch with Brenda Thompson right away. And uh, 731 6003 is a number that you can call. And very quickly, uh, Richard Paul Evans is coming to town. He's the one who wrote the mu uh, Christmas box, which was the story that inspired the whole Angel of Hope movement. He's across, coming to Perm. Across the country. He's coming to Fergus Falls. Fergus Falls. And we're okay. hoping to abscond with him and have him visit our park. That would so be great. So it would be nice to have him. I know he's expressed interest with Brenda to uh, come and see us. So that's our Perm show. Dan, thanks for being on. Thank you very much. Appreciate it and all that the Chamber does for our area. And if you have any information or any questions, I should say, for Dan, uh, you can go to the Chamber website, Perm. Dot com. It's that easy. There you go. That's simple. I was overthinking it. That's all right. Yes. All right. Give us a call sometime. Get in touch with us if you have an idea for a future show. Thanks for watching.